this is a video of my big survival tin but before I even show you it when you make a survival tin what you're supposed to do is always carry it with you there's no point going to making it and just leave it in the cupboard you're supposed to always carry it wherever you go always carry it and one day you'll need it and it'll be there no point like I said no point making it is leaving it in the cupboard somewhere that's my big one and so to make sure I always do carry one all the time with my keys, I've got this wallet, I'll put them in like that. Inside here, is my mini survival tin. I've already got a video about this one. It's got near enough, well, actually, not quite the same as what's in this one but it'll do, it's got good stuff in it. Look on the other video and you'll see it. So what I've got in this one is, some needles and thread. Oh, and also what I'll do at a later date, I'll do some videos of what you can use everything for because you don't necessarily have to use this for just sewing up clothes you could use this for binding on arrowheads and things like that and binding on the flights and plastic bags fishing line a wire saw and the rings to go on the ends Some Stanley knife blades. If you can't get these, just use scalpel blades. Some more thread. Some matches. A flint striker. Some snare wire. Safety pins. Inside this is fish hooks, fishing hooks, and weights. Inside here is a mini compass. I'll put it in here so I think it's scratched. Inside here is a magnifying glass, same thing. Wrap it up so it don't get scratched or it won't work. More snare wire. If I manage a candle, in the end of a shotgun cartridge. That's just so when it burns, it just the wax stays inside rather than melting all the way. More snare wire. Pretty good knife. Relatively large as well. Takes up a lot of room, but it'd be very handy. A little sharpening stone. Half a hacks well, a quarter of a hacksaw blade. Some more miniature standing knife blades. This is one you don't get often in them. A ready made arrowhead. A piece of string. Very strong. This is 3.2 or 3.3 .3 millimeter nylon cord. This is good enough to make a bowstring out of. It's possible to make an alright bowstring out of. I'll put a lot of these on a lot of my bows to try them. It's pretty good. So that's near enough a ready made bowstring. Some more string for making traps and stuff. And anything, you know, tying things together. More needles. Jigsaw blade. Should be able to make a handle for that or something. Some water purifying tablets. Have as many of them as you can. And just a little striker for your matches in case I can't find something decent enough to um, strike them off of. What you've got to remember though is always carry it with you. Like I said, there's no point just making one and never carrying it. So if you if you can't, if you don't want to carry a big one, make a little small one.
put it with your keys because every time I take every time I go out I've got to take my keys with me obviously I can't get back in the house can I so I take this it's always inside there I've always got it and the other thing you're supposed to do with the survival tins is use them whenever you can they don't have to be for a survival situation use it like often I get splinters in my hands and I use a needle to dig it out with always need to light something don't hesitate to use a match and light it just replace them later or your flint striker because if you don't use anything and then one day it comes to it you might not be used to using anything or know how to use anything you know I'll use the wire saw if I want to cut things sharpen a little knife for that always use it as much as possible then you're used to using everything all the time 